friends and viewers, Isaac Bashwood Singer, uh, a Nobel Prize winning Polish American author, Isaac Bashwood Singer, first published this book is published in 1962. The name of this book is The Slave by Isaac Bashwitz Singer. The story centers on a Jacob, a Jewish slave who falls in love with a Wanda, a Gentile woman. This proposal, Jacob on a crisis of faith, and he feels torn between the forces of good and evil. Jacob lives in the Jewish community of Josephov in Poland uh, during the Klimnitsky uprising, which take place between 1648 and 1657. The Cossack mount a rebellion within the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, committing mass atrocities against the civilian population. Jews are one of their primary targets. Cossacks murder Jacob's wife and three children before selling him into slavery. A pagan peasant purchases Jacob to work on his farm. His enslavement is a brutal experience. But Jacob remains faithful to God and to Judaism. He practices as many Jewish rites and rituals and commemorates as many high holidays as he is able to while in captivity. He also commits himself to maintain high ethics and leading an overall devout life. Then Jacob falls in love with Wanda, a young Gentile woman and the daughter of his master. He yearns for her despite Jewish law strictly forbidden any type of intimacy, even a casual touch between a man and a woman before marriage. It is a violation of a Jewish law and for a Jew to marry or live with a Gentile. And not only is Wanda a Gentile, but she's a pagan as well. She attempts to get Jacob to marry her, but barring that she tries to seduce him into committing sinful acts together. Jacob knows that consummating his relationship with Wanda is a cardinal sin, and he feels her beauty, her sexuality, her very presence in life are temptations straight from the devil. Driven to the brink by desire, Jacob finally relents and he and Wanda have sex. Shortly thereafter, a group of Jews who survived the massacre at Josephov track Jacob down and pay off Wanda's father in exchange. For his freedom, Jacob returns to his hometown and while he escapes slavery, he is not able to escape his memories of Wanda. Soon his thought about her again consume his life. Next happened what one night he dreams of her. In the dream, a visibly pregnant Wanda begs to know why Jacob abandoned her leaving her to raise his child with pagans. Jacob wakes startled and returned to Wanda. Once back in the pagan village, they marry and she convert to Judaism with Jacob's guidance. The newlywed moved to the town of Pilots. <clears throat> there Jacob became a teacher while Wanda changed her name to Sarah and pretend to be a deaf mute so her Accent doesn't betray the fact that she's a pagan Gentile. Jacob continues teaching Sarah about Judaism and she becomes a devoted student, fervently adopting his belief system as her own. For months, Sarah continues to present herself as deaf and mute, even though it becomes increasingly more painful. She hears the woman in town talk about her when she passes by, believing she can't hear them. She becomes a source of scandalous gossips. However, when Sarah gives birth, she cries out in pain, effectively shattering the illusion of her muteness. Hearing her speak, 
the town people learned her heritage, devastated by the revelation of her secret and depleted by the process of childbirth. Sarah dies, but the son she bears, whom Jacob names Benjamin, survives. After her death, the Jews of Pilates refuses to honor Sarah with the Jewish burial. Instead, they bury her with the donkeys on the outskirt of the Jewish cemetery. Jacob brings the infant Benjamin to Israel where the two begin a new life together. Benjamin grows up in the Holy Land, eventually becomes a lecturer at the Yeshiva in Jerusalem. Two decades later, Jacob goes back to Pilates to find Sarah's grave. In his absence, Pilates has become a city of substantial size and the Jewish cemetery has expanded. The mass grave site for donkeys. Sarah burial spot is now part of the larger cemetery. So she ended up in Jewish burial place after all. During this visit to Plitz, Jacob weakens and falls ill. In short order, he dies and the town people bury him in the Jewish cemetery. As they dig his grave, they discover Sarah's uh, bones miraculously buried uh, at the exact grave site they had chosen for Jacob. Sarah's bones were thought lost among the donkeys. Uh, they seemed like an undeniable message from God. So they bury Jacob and Sarah side by side together as it was always intended to be. In 19, 2002, four, four, Yevigny, Ari, and Yelena Laskina adopted the slave, this play, uh, this, uh, in a stage play. It premiered at the Lincoln Center Festival. So this is, ladies and gentlemen, the novel by Isaac Bashwood Singer. This is uh, indeed a very painful story, the story of a two faiths, the story of a man uh, stuck between the two uh, faiths and between uh, love. So this is a very interesting story. I hope you will enjoy it when you read this book. The Slave by Isaac Bashwood Singer. Thank you very much.